So I did the video and I talked about that, you know, my friends, et cetera, are quitting. People I know have been quitting the game anyway, or at least playing less actively, et cetera. Now, in the comment section of that video, I got many people saying that, DM, you're completely missing the point. The game is boring. So I thought, you know what? Fair enough. Let's talk about that point today. Is Diablo Immortal actually a boring game? Just hands down, that's that's the topic. Is it a boring game? So I figured the way we can answer that is I am what I would consider a veteran player. I've been playing the game for a while now at this point. And let's see right now, if I log into the game, what is it I need to do in order to advance my character's strength? And would I qualify those things as entertaining, yes or no? Let's try to do an objective walkthrough. So if we actually look at this today, where am I at? Let's look at my character. I am just barely above Silver Paragon by one level, okay? Just into the red bar, just not to look like a noob, basically. Now, if we actually end up looking at my gear here, my combat rating is 5,200 at the moment. If we go and we look at my leaderboard, I am rank eight on the leaderboard, and maybe I could push to rank seven, mm, maybe. Okay, now in order to make my person stronger, where would I need to go? Well, I need to complete my set items. So that's dungeons. That's the first thing I need to do. I've been lazy at the H4 dungeon farming because I've been farming Hell 5. I need one more piece of gear. And then once I hit 240, I will have my set completed. I'll have the four and two piece exactly like I need. And it will all be uh, what I would consider better stats like Hell 5 pieces, like I have my waist here. Um, I have my rings available for this. Um, I have boots available. I'm wearing a pair of gloves. I have the necklace. So I think what I need actually now is, I think I need a different glove is actually what I need. I think I need the um, the Vithu's glove. So in order to get the Vithu's glove, I know I need to go to the codex here. I would go to the activities and I would go and I would do, I think it is not rapids, not tomb. I believe it is the temple. If I remember correctly, I would need to farm some temple, which is non-boosted. So right now, the best thing I could probably do is farm H5 temple non-boosted. Yes or no, is that boring? Yes, it's boring. It is boring to do. Right now, I know for a fact it's boring. I'd be lying if I say it's not boring. Okay, but in order to actually equip it, I have to get to 240 Paragon. Now there is a boost going on which can get you up to 800% experience if you're way below the server paragon and with the miss boost currently can go up to another 400%. So what does that mean for us today? Who's above server paragon? Nothing. So I, I actually am still at 80%. I'm at a reduction. So even though there's an event going on, the people that are rewarded for the event are the people who are literally not playing the game. So the event right now doesn't matter for me as a veteran player. Therefore, if I want eight more levels or seven more levels in order to wear the new equipment, that's what I need to go do. This is exactly what I need to do. I need to go to the same circle that I've ran more than anything else in the entire game. And I need to go to Planes of Torment. And I need to run this circle right here. And I'm gonna to need to do that for seven levels straight. Is running this circle for seven levels straight, is that boring, yes or no? Yes, I do believe that is actually currently boring. Okay, so those are the two things that I need to do in order to make my character stronger. But let's dig a little deeper. If I wanted to make my character stronger, stronger I could work on the charms. Well, working on charms is basically RNG at this point. You have to only get a certain amount of charms. There's no way to grind these. And I only have some kind of crappy ones and it takes platinum. And platinum is something you either have to purchase or it's a daily time gated thing. And I only have 4,000 platinum. So I could try to work on charms, but realistically that's not really something that you can actually make progress in a day. It's 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 law. It's literally a lottery slot system. Like, look, let me just show you, okay? Instead of talking about it, let me just show you. Let's go try to make some progress right now. And then you as the audience can tell me if you believe this was boring or not. So I'm gonna walk down here to the charm lady and we are going to try to make some progress on my character together today. So we'll go down to the charm here. Let's go ahead and say, you know what? We're going to extract one of the charms. The ones we want is we're going to, we're going to try to keep the daring swing. We're going to try to put the vengeance onto the daring swing. So we're going to extract that one. Then we're going to go here where we have two of these already. And we're going to try to add in vengeance. Now, here we go. There's no skill related to this. This is purely RNG. Please land on vengeance. It did not land on vengeance. Therefore, I did not progress my character today. Was that entertaining, yes or no? Maybe a little bit. Maybe that was a little bit less of the boring of the ones, but still I'm stretching just a little bit, okay, to try to find it to be entertaining. So now what's the next thing that we can do to make progress? Well, if we go and we look at our gems, um, I have gems of which I can work on. And in order to get 
more gems. I need to go do a hidden lair. I do think the hidden lairs can be fun. So I would say that's not so boring. And I can go collect my normal gems from the dungeons, um, from running in a group, um, which is basically, we're right back to where we are the dungeon and we already said that was boring. Or I can walk up to the Hilt's Trader and just make the purchase of, you know, the daily gem from the Hilt's Trader, which I'll do now because I need to do it literally anyway. And that's not really like doing something in the game, that's using the shop. So, so far we haven't really run into anything that I myself would say I particularly want to actually do for a fun level of enjoyment, if that makes sense, okay? So let's go in here. Is there is there a gym to get today? No, nope, but we can make a charm. Look, here's my charm progress for the day. Done. Okay, so let's talk about events then. Is there an event to do? What are the tasks for the event today? Uh, kill 10 monsters, log in for four days, there's nothing. So there's nothing, there's currently no event for me to do there. The Scorch C, that's complete, there's nothing. So there's literally no events for me to do right now um, for the hype time leading up to updates. So uh, that's a bummer. I do actually really like the Fractured Plane, but for some reason, it's not in the game anymore. I don't know why it's not. Something I could do is I could work on my Shadow Progress. I went and did my three contracts today because I let them stack up over a little bit of time. Did my contracts. And the contracts are okay. I actually personally don't mind contracts. I know there's a point where people find them quite boring because it's the same one over and over again. It's For me, it's one of the better daily activities. I'm not saying I love it, but it's not like, oh, I hate doing it quite either. I do enjoy doing the vault. So when the vault is open, I will actually say that I, I do find the vault quite enjoyable. So that is one of the activities to do. Later on in the day, I'll be able to participate in that activity, but I can't right now. Now the battleground is actually open and I could do this three times in order to get these rewards. The problem is the time it takes to receive the rewards from the battleground is less than the, the rewards that I would have get for just running in a circle in the same realm of damnation I was talking about earlier. So if, I, if I'm doing it for the rewards, it's better to run in a circle. And if I'm actually talking about the leaderboard rewards for like the end of it where you get these rewards for being legend rank, et cetera, those don't matter anymore because I've already got my reforged bonuses, which will be staying with my character, one of each, and I'm not really gonna change that. I guess I could get more reforged stones to try to min-max some of these rows. That is something I could do, but realistically, that's not really the best use of my time in the game at the moment. Now, I have some points left in my battle pass of which I could accomplish. I have about 500 points more to go, but the quickest way to do this is literally running in a circle once again. Um, just to get the best UARY points. So what we come down to is the thing that I need to do right now is run in a circle in the realms for seven levels and then complete the one glove I need and my set's done and that's kind of it. The other thing that I could work on is my resonance, but you can't really work on these because the best way for me to work on this right now would be to go run my 79 rare crest. And if I'm, let's say we get a good drop rate and one out of four of these crests drops me something that gives me 20 powder, which doesn't actually do anything because in order to increase my resonance, what I would have to do is get multiple howlers calls, which means I have to get legendary crests and they have to drop on the howlers. So even running the rare crest or working on the powder doesn't even matter anyway unless I'm trying to replace the gem with a different gem, but I'm not gonna do that because resonance is better than anything. You just want resonance. I, I, you know what's a bummer is I really like the new one-star gem that's coming that increases uh, duration effect and movement speed and all that, but I don't get the option to run it anyway because it's better just to take the resonance and combat rating. So there's not really a point to work on any, any gems at the moment in the game. So that whole side of the game is just not something you really even think about. That's where my character's at. The two best things I can do right now is run in the same circle I've done since literally my, basically my first Paragon level, let's be honest, um, as well as do the same dungeons that I've been doing since my first Paragon level. That's where I'm at personally. Now, does that sound boring to you guys? It sounds kind of boring to me, and it's probably why I'm not have, just haven't been logging in as much. I mean, I, I don't want it to be boring. I would rather it be exciting, and I'm not really mad about the fact it is boring, and I understand it's a Diablo game, and it's part of the reason you play the Diablo games is literally the grind anyway, and the grind's been kind of boring for me in other Diablo games. But I'll acknowledge the fact, yeah, the game can be boring at times. I, I think I've covered this in multiple videos, and I actually think that's part of why we're losing players at the moment and kind of why everyone's complaining, because you get to the end of the game, and then the end game is not much of a game sometimes. But that's where we're at, and that's just my honest feelings as of today. We'll see how the update changes things. I do think it's going to shake it up a bit because they are really kind of forcing us more into party systems, and they're kind of cutting the game up. 
um, a little bit more and there's ancestral properties and all these different things. So it could get better, it could get worse. I don't know, but there's how I see it.